What's up YouTube? Homebrew Subaru. And this is the STI build part 9 I believe. I'm pretty sure it's part 9. Uh, I'm still waiting on a few parts for the engine. Nothing really serious. I mean I could do a few things to it. But I decided well the exhaust needs a couple things. So even though the pieces, some of the pieces are painted and the header stainless, uh, Tyler wants them, he wants to paint them. So he's going with this uh, VHT flame proof. Um, it's basically called header paint and it's a ceramic coating good to 2000 Fahrenheit. I've seen plenty of people use this stuff and it seems to stick really well. It just lasts forever. Um, but it, all pieces are going to be painted with this. So even the header is going to be going to be coated with it. Um, I would expect, you know, two to three coats on each piece. But to be perfectly honest, I've already painted them. So I'm just going to show you that footage. And uh, um, yeah, I think the downpipe took three. I put three coats on the downpipe and uh, three coats on the on the headers, and then the uh, the up pipe got two coats. So. I'm just going to do a little time lapse of the spraying and then uh, we've got a little bit more work to do the exhaust. So. So this is the following day after spraying, uh, the stuff sat all night long. Um, and I mean, the paint just dries up really fast. It's, it's a really, uh, flat kind of paint. So, I mean, it just dries up in no time at all. Uh, so the header looks really decent. You can see some of the corrosion trying to come through. Uh, definitely not something that's worth sanding. Because you, you'll take off more of the more of the coating and cause a worse problem eventually, probably anyway. So the downpipe looks really nice, really nice finish on it. And then the up pipe and the uh, little wastegate pipe. And uh, I tried to put a lot into this flex. I know it doesn't; they don't tend to rust out very bad. But I really concentrated around these flanges, just going around it. Um, just add a little bit more longevity to them. So the next step after painting 
uh, we are going to do some heat wrap. And uh, I'm not the biggest fan of putting this stuff on, but it's not difficult to do. Um, and from the time that I've done it before, and my buddy's done it in the past, uh, we gen just kind of soak this for a little bit. It makes it mal more malleable, easier to stretch, and then as it uh, dries, it tends to shrink up and tighten up a little bit more for you. Uh, and it comes with all the stainless straps, so I was kind of wondering about that if I'd have to try and find straps or go get go get some clamps or something, but that should be enough. There's two full rolls, and I guess uh, there's five five of these, so I get ten total. Might be able to do it. I expect that there is enough of it, but I'm basically going to start with one roll for the downpipe, one roll for the header, and then we'll see what we have left over for the uppipe. But yeah, that's uh, basically where I'm going next to this. Okay, so I'm going to go ahead and wrap the downpipe. I've got it fastened in the vise, so it's, I mean it wiggles on there a little bit, but it's being, it's being held in place pretty good. And uh, I'm basically going to start at the top here and work my way to the other end. And uh, I think I'm going to wrap in this, uh, this wastegate exit in with the big pipe and just continue on going around and around and around until I get to the end. So you'll first notice that I am wearing gloves. Uh, the stuff, it, it's just a, it's, it's a very fibrous material. It's got a lot of little, uh, like fiberglass fiber hairs in it and they can really irritate your skin. So, uh, I mean, you don't have to wear gloves, but they certainly help a whole lot. And as I go around here, especially with the uh, the heat wrap still a little damp, it's easy to to stretch it over the pipe and and draw it really tight. And you'll see I'm getting about a about a half inch coverage on to or over top of itself for good coverage. Eventually you'll get to the point where you have to start flipping a roll because uh, as you're wrapping around, you're actually starting to coil the uh, the wrap on the roll. But if you start twisting the roll in your hand clockwise for me, then you can uh, you can maintain a relatively straight wrap. Now that I'm past this uh, wastegate exit and just on this pretty much the three inch pipe, it should go a little bit more straightforward.
say we're just getting over the halfway mark and it's a good thing because the, the roll is definitely about halfway. So I've gotten to the other end of the pipe and I've kind of done a, a double wrap around the end here. I'm ready to uh, cut the extra length of it off. And now as long as I keep that tight and take one of these straps, the way these straps work is as you put them in there, they actually have a little locking tab that falls back down onto the strap to lock it in place so they won't pull apart. There's like a little ball bearing inside of it and as the strap comes through it won't pass back through without that ball bearing jamming on the strap and that's what kind of holds it all together. But the better ones that are the they have a little bit of a ratcheting edge to them so as soon as you pull them they just lock on they don't come you don't have to screw around with them at all. I find that these ones you actually have to take a screwdriver and your side cutters and really pry it apart till you can get them extremely tight. And I'll probably put a another clamp on this end. Uh, and we definitely need to put some clamps at the other end of it, but essentially. But essentially, that's one wrapped downpipe. So at this end here, I, I ended up reusing these uh, gear clamps along with the strap just to give it some extra uh, strength to hold a, a hold on the, the wrap. And at this end, I just used one of the really good straps. It's really tight on there. And uh, so that piece is done. He wants the up pipe is wrapped as well, and I mean it's it's only about a foot long, so it's it's not going to take very much wrap. Unfortunately, I got enough of it here, so I think I'll start at this top end. Actually, I'm going to go through there one more time. Doing a piece like this, you don't want to you don't want to be pulling on it too hard because you believe it or not, you could actually break the flex in it. It's not designed to flex that far.
So I'm going to go over this flex joint, um, but I kind of need to do a wide pass over it and then come back around and do an X over across myself just to make sure that the the heat wrap stays nice and tight. Uh, you know, it's the same kind of thing if you're wrapping something with electrical tape, you know. You kind of just have to uh, kind of go in your own direction to cover everything. And this will give a, a nice overlap. And just come up to the end and that's it. I just had enough heat wrap at the end of it to do this pipe. Believe it or not, I've already filmed all this. I'm actually inside editing this this video and found out that the last couple clips I didn't have the mic on or something. So yeah, I've got to do it all over again. Uh, trying to remember where I left off. <laughs> but uh, as you saw, I got the downpipe wrapped. I got the uppipe wrapped. I did, I, I did actually do the uh, the header pipe off camera because it's quite an intricate piece. There's a lot more to it. Um, so I had actually wrapped this in two pieces. So I started at this end and I wrapped it all the way up to this end, which I did put a steel band there and one there. And then here I started again with another piece of wrap and kept on going around and and interweaved it in here a couple times to make sure I've got really good coverage of everything and then just continued along the collector and uh, then I used uh, I backed it up on itself I've used two clamps at this end one of the original clamps that he had on the other wrap and uh, I mean it looks really good it's it's gonna it's it's a nice wrap job I like it I, I think it looks good and uh, I'd be pleased if it was for myself and my own car, so he should be happy. Um, wrapping isn't difficult. It's a lot like just wrapping tape around electrical wire or something like that. Very similar. As long as you get that overlap, uh, you get you get it to kind of hold itself down as you continue wrapping it over top of itself. And uh, pretty easy to work with when it's wet like that. It, you can really pull on it tight and just you know really yank it around the pipe and uh, I would say with it starting to dry already yeah like it just feels like a piece of pipe now uh, that's how hard it is um, so yeah if you uh, like this video definitely give it a thumbs up and if you haven't already please consider hitting that subscribe button for me head over to Instagram check out homebrew Subaru Leave your questions and comments further down below, and I'll see you in the next one.